loves and welcome to day 13 of our 21 day self-love journey together. Today's activity is a EFT tapping to um, release fear and self-doubt. My personal tapping session this morning, I got a clear channel for what I want to do today and I just wrote it all out on my phone and now I'm ready to share it with you lovelies. For those that don't know, I'm Katie. I am a level two Reiki practitioner and yoga instructor. I frequently up upload guided meditations on this channel as well as EFT tappings. This EFT tapping is a part of a program I created called the 21 Day Dedication to Aphrodite Self-Love and Discovery Program. This is a program I created after my own self-love journey and I really felt called to invite others to um, dedicate themselves to the goddess Aphrodite. She is my matron deity and we work, clo we work closely with the goddess Aphrodite in this program. Um, through a series of self-love activities, EFT tappings, meditations, yoga, Reiki, and um, Aphrodite dedication rituals and spells. So it's a really powerful program and it's a community of really lovely ladies and I would love to welcome more into the program. Right now, I have the group open for seven more um, women who are wanting to dedicate themselves and come on the self-love journey with us. And the next group begins on May 5th on the next full moon. So if you are interested in joining, if you enjoy this tapping session and you're wanting more uh, practices like this, self-love practices, then go ahead and click the link in the description box to sign up for the program. Everything I do on this channel, everything that I'm putting out into the world, I want it to have an impact positively on others and I really want to help people. So I myself, I struggle with anxiety and um, manic depression. So mental health has been a huge struggle of mine throughout a lot of my life and I want to reach out to others who have, so I want to reach out to others who have the same struggles that I do. Um, through meditations, through tappings like this, and the programs that I offer to help you um, release stress and help the fight or flight response in the nervous system and to regulate your nervous system and live a more calm and fulfilling life. So that is why I do what I do, that is what I'm passionate about, and to help others find their light. Now, EFT tapping, for those that don't know about it, it is a really beautiful practice um, that can help by we release while we manifest by saying affirmations by tapping on the meridian points in our body um, and I've gone more in depth on EFT tapping in some of my other videos I can put them in the description as well if you um, want to learn about EFT tapping and watch my beginners video where I explain exactly the benefits of EFT tapping um, for this video, keep things relatively short and sweet. Um, basically, we are tapping on these points in our body and we are saying affirmations while we are tapping on them. So I'll go through and show you guys where we'll be tapping and then you'll follow along with me repeating these affirmations after me. So we begin with the karate chop point. And when we start here, we are going to say what we are releasing. We always start with this point. And then the top of the head, middle of the third, um, middle of the forehead around the third eye point, the temples, under the eyes, above the lip, the chin, the collarbone, and the bra strap area. So kind of um, just directly under our armpit and then the wrists. Now, it shouldn't be painful at all. It's kind of up to you um, to intuitively decide how hard to tap, but you shouldn't feel any pain. Um, it should just be enough to trigger those points when we go through them. So let's go ahead and begin by taking a couple of breaths together and closing our eyes. Eyes closed. Let's take an inhale 
inhaling through the nostrils. And exhale out the mouth. Just take another inhale through the nose. Holding at the top, filling the belly with air. sure to push all of the air out with each exhale. One more inhale through the nose. And exhale, push all the air out. Gently blinking the eyes open. And we will begin our tapping session now with the karate chop plank. You may have your eyes closed or follow along with me. Repeating the affirmations. Here we go. There are times when I doubt myself, where I doubt my abilities, where I feel like I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough that I'm just not enough. I try to overcompensate for this feeling of being inadequate in unhealthy ways, unhealthy coping mechanisms, or I continue to make myself small. I hide my gifts and my abilities because it feels safer to do so than to be my authentic self. I doubt that anyone even really likes me. I don't feel worthy of love. I don't think what I have to say is important or that anyone would want to listen to me. Maybe that I'm not talented enough and no one will be interested in the gifts I have to share. I tend to isolate myself from others and I dim my light over and over again as a form of self-protection. And I wonder Maybe these feelings in my head are real and true. Top of the head. I do realize now that these are not true feelings or true emotions. It's simply insecurities I've made up in my mind about myself. I am worthy of the love I so desire. My gifts are important and it's important that I share them with the world. I have unique talents that no one else in this world has. My uniqueness is my power and the world needs me in it. I have experiences that no one else in this world has had that are completely unique to me. And I realize that maybe I have been too hard on myself. That maybe these criticisms come from traumas and pressure put on me from others at a young age. Maybe it was someone else who made me not feel like I was enough when I was younger. Maybe someone told me I was strange or weird or I shouldn't be doing what I love to do. 
that I should change myself in some way to fit in with others. And this is not my fault. But as I've had this experience, it has dimmed my light and caused self-doubt. I realize now that it's okay and it's safe to be my authentic self, to be confident in my abilities, to be confident in the special skills and talents that only I can share with the world. And I realize how truly special I am in the goddess's eyes, I am pure. The goddess is pure perfection, and she exists within me. And we are all divine, divinely connected to each other, to the earth, and to the goddess that lives within all of us. I am a divine being with a unique light to share within this world. Others need to hear my story as it can help somebody who is needing it. And I know not to judge myself so harshly because we are all going through something and none of us escapes this life without some form of trauma. But we are all worthy and on this earth for a reason. I no longer hold fear within my body. I release the fear that I once had around sharing my voice, around being my authentic self, of sharing my talent with the world, of just being me. This fear may have manifested in different ways, maybe through physical pain in the body, illness, mental illness, stress, anxiety, and depression. Maybe I hide, isolate, and shy away from others. Maybe I had a strong feeling of imposter syndrome. I release that now. All of those pent up fears that I once had. I release them now. I release them now. I release them now. And with that, the fear is gone. I am confident with who I am and my purpose. I radiate confidence and love. I vibrate at the frequency of love and I release completely self-doubt, fear, and anxiety around who I am. I am a light worker, a divine loving being. And I'm now going to share my stories to help others. I will now show the world my authentic self, my inner light, me at the highest vibration. And I realize that not everyone will like this about me, that not everyone 
has done their inner work to heal themselves. But not everyone will be kind to me, that others will hurt me, but I don't take their pain on as my own. I am so self-assured and I know who I am, that others' cruel opinions or criticisms do not bother me one bit and no matter what I will keep this confident self-awareness with me wherever I may go in this life I will continue to be my authentic self I will continue to spread love and light to others I will show the world my unique skills, gifts, and abilities. The world that needs what I have to offer so much. I will never make myself smaller for anyone again. I will be who I am and my energy is protected. My time is now, and I will show the world how truly amazing I can be. I am so ready to step into this new chapter of my life, the best chapter of my life so far, the beginning of new opportunities happiness and joy. Hands come down. Let's take a couple of breaths here together. Inhaling through the nose, holding it at the top, that energy, a beautiful life force energy. And then exhaling out the mouth. Gently blinking the eyes open. You are so wonderful and divinely powerful. It matters in this world and you have something to share that no one else can. I hope you leave this tapping session feeling confident in your abilities and ready to step into your light. You are so worthy and I hope you know it after this tapping session. For more um, tapping sessions like this one, please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me that you guys are supporting my YouTube channel as I'm trying to grow. Um, if you're interested in any of the programs I offer, you can check the link in the description box for more information. And for those lovelies that are in the 21 day dedication to Aphrodite, self-love and discovery, I will see you tomorrow for day 14. Bye.